Hi, Sue Lawson for Weaver News Minutes. I'm here now with Bernie Mitchell, who is a consultant with Panasonic, and more importantly, he's also an editor. Yeah. So he knows about workflow, and he knows what it takes to get the information from the camera, from that wonderful little chip that we saw, this wonderful little disc here, into your editing system so you can make it work. What editing systems does it work with? Well, what I like to tell people is that essentially you can edit footage shot in this format on any NLE. And that's true, but they do it differently, okay? So right here we're standing in front of an Apple display. I do a lot of my work on Final Cut. It works very nicely with Final Cut. It works nicely uh, with iMovie as an example. It works on the PC side. One of my jobs that I'm doing for Panasonic is I'm writing all of the white papers for all of the NLEs about how you get this in, how you get it out of the systems. And I've done all of the, the Mac side and I'm working my way through the PC side now as well. But what happens, let's just talk about Final Cut as an example. What happens is you can connect the camera directly into the computer. Now we've got a tower here, but I usually take my MacBook Pro on the plane and just work with it. Or you can take, and these are just you know, off the shelf devices. This is an SD card to USB. So you put your SD card into there and put it into your computer. Now when you do that, the Mac sees the card as a no-name hard drive. And so then you just go into Final Cut. Now the caveat here is it has to be an Intel-based Mac. Okay, it has to be Final Cut 6 and above. Then the only other one is when you go into Final Cut, you do File, Log, and Transfer. So you're doing it essentially the same way you would if you were working with P2 cards. Absolutely, absolutely. And then what it does, once you do the Log and Transfer, you can open up, you can look at the clips. Then when you're ready to start editing, it will transcode. Final Cut will do this automatically. It will transcode to ProRes. And then once you're in ProRes, you're just editing. So you don't even need to worry about it. It does not take a lot of technical expertise to be able to work with this format and work with it quick. No, I, and there's, there's a, a sort of a misunderstanding about that. Here at the show, a lot of people have been coming up and been concerned about the workflow. And when you show it to them, they go, that's it? There is no workflow. That's, I mean, it's, it's so right. incredibly easy. One of the things that I love about this for the wedding and event videographers is that a lot of people are doing same day edits. They're shooting at the ceremony, then they're going to the reception. Maybe one of the partners is going ahead and doing some editing that they can show at the beginning of the reception. This makes it easy. Yes, right. And the other thing that's nice is what if the groom is a gamer? If the groom is a gamer, these cards will fit into a PlayStation 3. So you could take raw footage and they could play it that way. You could take a Blu-ray into the PlayStation and play it that way. Panasonic makes a Blu-ray player that's got a card slot. You can just put the card slot right in and look at the footage right there. So it's not a same day edit because that wouldn't be edited. It would be raw footage. But I actually had someone come up to me earlier and say, you know, we could do that at the reception. We could have a, a plasma up there and just grab stuff out of the camera and stick it up and people could see it right then. Now, it works on Final Cut. We were over on the other side. It works on Premiere as well. Works, works on Premiere, works on some of the lower end consumer apps like Pinnacle or, or ULead. It works on, on Edius, you know, the old Canopus stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, you can transcode it for Avid if you want to work on Avid. So, uh, you've got a lot of options. This is absolutely fabulous, Bernie. I really want to thank you for this. And for those of you who don't know, Bernie is also not only writing all of the information on this, but he's going to be, uh, let's see, you're developing a DVD, which, which I'm going to be looking for. I hope you're doing one on the P2 cards as well, because I could really use that. <laughs> but Bernie's developing a DVD that's just going to make life so much easier for everybody. But it's pretty darn intuitive as it is. Bernie, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Sue from Weave a News Minute. Bernie from, well, from everywhere, but right now going ahead and consulting with Panasonic to make life easier for all of us. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.